I am George Canning, and my life in politics was marked by ambition, wit, and a deep commitment to British interests both at home and abroad. I was born on April 11, 1770, in London, England, and my career in government began at an early age. I entered the political arena as a Tory, and my eloquence and sharp debating skills quickly earned me a reputation. In 1796, I was elected as the Member of Parliament for Newtown on the Isle of Wight. My time in Parliament was marked by my opposition to the policies of Prime Minister William Pitt the Younger, particularly his support for the war with revolutionary France. I was a vocal critic of the war and advocated for peace. During my early years in Parliament, I also pursued a career in journalism. I co-founded the newspaper, The Anti-Jacobin, which was known for its satirical and conservative content. This publication allowed me to shape public opinion and promote my political ideas. In 1807, I was appointed as the Foreign Secretary in the government of Prime Minister Spencer Perceval. This was the beginning of my long and influential career in diplomacy and foreign affairs. I played a crucial role in forging alliances with other European powers against Napoleon Bonaparte during the Napoleonic Wars. My diplomatic efforts helped secure the support of Portugal and Spain against the French. Tragically, in 1809, Prime Minister Perceval was assassinated, and I was asked to form a new government. However, my tenure as Prime Minister was short-lived, lasting only four months. During my time in office, I focused on foreign policy and worked to strengthen Britain's position on the world stage. One of my most significant achievements was negotiating the Treaty of London in 1827, which recognized the independence of Greece from the Ottoman Empire. This was a diplomatic success that resonated with the British public, who saw it as a victory for the principles of liberty and self-determination. However, my health was always fragile, and my time as Prime Minister took a toll on me. I struggled with illness throughout my political career. Sadly, I passed away on August 8, 1827, just a few months after becoming Prime Minister. My death marked the end of a promising political career, and I was succeeded by Frederick Robinson, Viscount Goderich. In hindsight, my contributions to British foreign policy and my role in promoting Greece's independence remain some of the most notable aspects of my political legacy. I was a man of principles who believed in the power of diplomacy, and I worked tirelessly to advance the interests of my country on the world stage.